So in this example of uh, divisibly, divisibility proofs by induction, I want to show I want to show that uh, four to the n plus one plus five to the two n minus one is divisible by twenty one, where n is greater than or equal to one. So in this case, n is one, two, three, and so on, right? So it's not like another video where n was odd. N is in this case, n is just any positive integer. Um, so just a quick, really quick recall on divisibility. So we say that a divides a divides b, or I like to write a bar b. This bar thing is just is just a notation for divides. So a divides b when a no sorry when b over a is equal to an integer k where k belongs to z this can also be written as k is equal to a k so there's different ways of expressing this okay but basically that just that's that's what it means for a to divide b okay so here in my statement my statement pn is going to be that 4 to the n plus 1 plus 5 to the 2n minus 1 is divisible by 21. Or if if I want to use the divides sort of language, I can say that 21 divides 4 to the n plus 1 plus 5 to the 2n minus 1. Okay? So that's my statement to prove. Okay, so let's go with my base case first. So base, let's go with my case. So the smallest possible integer that applies to Pn, in this case is going to be n equal one. Okay? So I'm going to show that P1 is true. P1 is true. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to replace all my n's by one in this case. So I get four to the one plus one plus five to the two times one minus one, which will give me four square plus five to the one, or just five if you like. That's equal to 16 plus five, which is 21. And obviously 21 is divisible, so it is divisible by 21, since it's just a number itself. So that's good. So I've shown I've shown that P1 is true. P1 is true. And so my base case is proved. Okay? My base case is proved. Um, now the second step and the trickier step, obviously, is the inductive step. Inductive you know, in, in this inductive step, usually when you see, you're going to see a lot of sort of examples that look like this. If you're doing a proofing, cl proofing class with induction, you're going to see a lot of things that have like powers in them with the visibility. So that, that they usually come together. The visibility and powers are usually sort of a, a go-to question. And so I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to, how to handle them in, uh, in induction. So again, what do I do in my inductive step? I assume, so assume, assume that Pn is true. Pn, Pn is true. I.e., I want to show that. Uh, no, not show. I.e., I'm assuming that. Um, actually, I'll write it divides. That 21 divides 4 to the n plus 1 plus 5 to the 2n minus 1. Now what I want to do, my goal, my goal is to prove p n plus 1. In this case, I can use n plus 1 if you're just asking yourself, well, obviously you can use n plus 1. This is sort of a reference to a previous video I did where I actually needed to use something different. But in this case, in this case, n plus one is fine because I'm just dealing with with uh, positive integers. So it doesn't matter if I'm taking n plus one or 
or whatever. N plus one is is good. Is the go-to in inductive sort of sort of step. Uh, so I'm trying to prove p n plus one, i.e. i.e. I'm trying to prove that 21 divides. So my ones and my bars are going to look the same. 21 divides 4 n plus one plus one plus five to the two n plus one minus one. Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to start with the right side, right the right side of my my uh, my divisibility sort of bar. I'm going to start with uh, this sort of mess, and I'm going to try to rewrite it. So let's see: four to the n plus one plus one uh, plus five to the two n plus one minus one. Okay, so. Your instinct when you see like terms is to add them together. In this case, that's not exactly what you want to do. So what you want to do, remember in an inductive in an induction proof, is you want to get you want to get what you assumed, because that that always helps to get what you assumed, so you can sort of take it out of of your your uh, your your puzzle your problem. So in this case, I'm looking for a 4 to the n plus 1 plus 5 to the 2n minus 1. Okay, well I have a n plus 1 here, and I have a 2. It looks like it's going to distribute n and 1 here, and I have a minus 1. Okay, so what I can do is I can actually bring this as a uh, times 4, because we know that a to the n times a to the m that's just equal to a to the n plus m, right? So I can actually just rewrite this as 4 to the n plus 1 times 4. Okay, so now I have I have the n plus 1 I was looking for here, that I have here, okay, times 4. Remember, this is just because it's times 4 to the 1, so I'm not, I'm not changing anything. Plus... And now I'm going to distribute 5 to the 2n plus 2 minus 1. Okay, so I have a 2n, a 2, and a minus 1. So the way to get rid of my 2 in this case is to sort of bring it down, in quotation marks, as a, um, as a sort of coefficient. Okay, so again I'm going to rewrite this as 4 to the n plus 1 times Four plus, and now I'm going to do an extra step: two n minus one plus two, just to show you that this is what I want, and this is what I'm going to get rid of. Sort of, not re I'm not really getting rid of anything. So I'm going to put the four in front. So I'm just putting this in front, I'm not changing anything. Four times four to the n plus one plus, and now I'm going to bring my five square down. So I'm going to make it twenty-five times 5 square and this is just this is just 25 right okay so I'm gonna again rewrite this as 4 times 4 n plus 1 just so you can see it 5 times 5 to the 2 n minus 1 okay so let's see what we got here we have well we have our 4 n plus 1 and we have our 5 2 to the 5 to the 2n minus 1. Now the problem is the coefficients. I have a 25 and a 4 here. So in my head what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get, so I'm trying to get uh, sort of a constant k times 4n plus 1 plus 5 to the 2n minus 1. Because it, it doesn't matter what this k is, as long as I have this, I can say that it's divisible by 8. By not 8, sorry, by divisible by 21. Because if I have, let's say I have, um, I don't know, so this is an aside. 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 So let's say I had a 2 times 21. Well, all this expression is divisible by 21 because I have, I have a 21 in here. Okay? 
So it's the same thing over here. I'm trying to find a k times uh, a 4n plus 5 to the 2n minus 1 because I know that this thing here is divisible by 21. Okay? So it looks like I can't really do anything to the 4 here, like I can't split it or anything, but I can rewrite this thing as something very interesting. I can rewrite this as, so I have 4 times 4 to the n plus 1, plus, and now this is the very, this is basically the key of this, this proof, plus 21 plus 4, so all of this together, all of this together is 25, right, I haven't changed anything times 5 to the 2n minus 1. Okay, and now I'm just going to distribute. I'm going to distribute. So I'm going to have 5 to the 5 times 4n plus 1 plus 21 times 5 to the 2n minus 1 plus 4 times 5 to the 2n minus 1. I'm going to bring this here just so it's clearer for you guys. So I have 4 times 4n plus 1 plus 4 times 5 to the 2n minus 1 plus 10 and 1, 21 times 5 to the 2n minus 1. Okay? Now I'm going to factor 4. So this is the k I was talking about. This is the k I was talking about here. So I have 4 times 4 to the n plus 1 plus 5 to the 2n minus 1 plus 21 times 5 to the 2n minus 1. And so what you'll notice here is that all of my terms here, this term and this term, are divisible by 21. Because by my inductive step, by inductive step, this is divisible, divisible by 21. Because that's what I assumed here. I assumed over here that 21 divides 4 to the n plus 1 plus 5 to the 2n minus 1, which is what I have. So this is divisible by 21, no questions asked. And this has a factor of 21. So obviously, this is divisible by 21. So if both my terms in an addition are divisible by 21, then that means that the whole, so this sort of means that the whole expression is divisible by 21. And if, if you want to be convinced why, so why, well, I can write, I can write my expression 4 times 4n plus 1 plus 5, 2n minus 1. I can write that as 21 times k, right? This is just, this is just, I mean, you shouldn't do this in your proof, but this is just to, an aside to convince you why. So I've said that this is divisible by 21 meaning that I can express it as 21 times something, okay? Um, same thing Same thing here, 21 times 5 to the 2n minus 1. So instead of, instead of just writing um, 5 to 2n minus 1, I'll just write that as some, some variable t, right, t. So where k and t belong to z. So I rewrote these as, as sort of a simpler format. I have 21k and 21t. So this, this is sort of an extra step, is equal to 21k plus 21t. If I factor 21, I have 21k plus t. And so, and so this is obviously divisible by 21, because it has a 21 in it. So 21 times something is obviously divisible by 21. So I've proved, so I've proved um, I've proved p n plus 1 to be true and so uh, this concludes uh, proof so I can conclude that 21 divides 4 to the n plus 1 minus 5 to the n, 2 n minus 1 so my statement is true